guys. So today I'm going to be doing the controversial parenting tag. Um, there's a lot of videos out there doing it, so I thought I'd do the same. Um, before I start, um, these are just my views, and I'm not judging anybody on whatever way they want to parent their own child. Um, it's up to them. So I'm going to get started. The first one is pro-life or pro-choice. Um, I am pro-life. Uh, before I had Connor, I was totally just pro-choice. Whatever you thought was best for yourself. And again, I'm not judging anybody who is um, pro-choice or whatever. But I ha ever since I had Connor, I've been pro-life because I don't think for myself I'd be able to have an abortion, I just wouldn't be able to do it. Next is baby wearing. I am totally, totally for baby wearing. I really wish I should have done it. I had um, a sling type thing, but it was really old and it just wasn't great. So if I had got one of the modern ones that it kind of closes them all up, I would have done it. Um, but I couldn't really. Next is circumcision. Um, I haven't really looked into circumcision. Um, I don't know what the pros or the cons are, so I don't really have an opinion on that. Um, I don't know if I would do it or not. Um, so yeah, so I just I I'm not too sure about that one. Next is adoption. Um, I am totally for adoption. I wouldn't be able to do it myself. Um, I wouldn't be able to give up my own child but for someone who has been trying for years to get pregnant and cannot get pregnant and for someone who wants an abortion or doesn't have the means to look after their own child then I think adoption is absolutely brilliant I think I think anybody who can give up their child for someone else for them for the child to have a better life I think they're just such a strong and amazing person. Uh, it's such a selfless thing to do and I'm totally, totally for it. Next is baby piercings. Um, I don't, well, I, I don't have a girl, so I'm not sure if I would do it or not. I'm not judging anybody who has done it. I think it does look really cute, but I, like, again, I don't have a girl, so I don't know if I would or not. Next is bottle versus breast. I am totally, totally for breast. Um, if I could have breastfed, I really, really would have. I was abdomen the whole time I was pregnant. I really, really wanted to breastfeed. It's the best thing for your baby, really. And I really, really wanted to. There were some complications and just, I, I couldn't do it. After, I was in so much pain after giving birth to him and everything else I really really wanted to but um, if it was one less thing for me not to be in that much pain at the time I did do it because I just I just wasn't strong enough for it really Um, yeah I really really wanted to do it but I wasn't really that strong to do it at the time I just wanted one less thing to hurt and it was quite selfish on my part because I know it would be the best thing for him but at the time I was just, I, it was what was best for me at the time. I know it's very selfish, but I couldn't do it. Um, I, I do plan on trying again if I have a second baby. Um, I do plan on trying again and try even harder this time because I didn't really try uh, with Connor. I kind of just gave up, really. I just took the easy way out and... Um, yeah, so for my next baby, I really, really do want to breastfeed. I'm going to try a lot harder this time. Next is spanking. Um, I don't agree with spanking at all. I was brought up um, being spanked, and I don't see any benefit towards it. Like, it, I think it just makes you... Not that I'm afraid of my parents, but I think it just makes the child scared and... I, I just I couldn't I wouldn't do it to Connor. There's a lot more different ways out there to discipline your child, and I think spanking is probably not one of them. Again, my opinion. 
um, if you do it's probably what works for you co-sleeping so I don't co-sleep um, at night he goes in his own crib at night and it seems to work for him because he sleeps 10 hours at night um, I don't think I would sleep if he was in the bed beside me um, fear of rolling over or suffocating him something like that I, I wouldn't I couldn't myself but there is times during the day where we take naps together and then we sleep together in the same bed but I wouldn't be able to do it all night I think I need my sleep too and it seems to work for him next is a uh, home public or private school I've actually enrolled him into private school already in Ireland you have to do it really soon I done it when he was six weeks old I enrolled him in I, as soon as I got his birth there, I enrolled him in um, for an Educate Together and I'm really looking forward to go, him going to that um, it's small classes so he will get a lot of attention whether where in public it's a lot bigger classes and um, it's, it's a lot bigger classes so I think with the smaller classes they get a lot more attention so um, I'm not against homeschooling I'm not against public schooling I just think private schooling is what's going to work for us and um, vaccinations I am pro vaccinations simply because I am um, if there's something out there that's gonna prevent him from getting any sort of disease or anything like that I'm totally for it um, I didn't realize that you could choose not to get vaccinations um, I thought it was just kind of a mandatory thing so yeah so I'm pro vaccinations medication the same thing I'm pro medication if there's something out there that can help my child soothe my child um, from any pain that he's in or can like help him recover or get better from anything that's wrong with him I'm totally for that I never looked into um, any natural um, means of medication but if I had found out that there was something more natural um, I probably would go for that as well but I, I wouldn't not medicate my child if he was sick or anything like that. Uh, next is cloth versus disposable. Um, I I'm not a, I'm not against cloth. I it wouldn't work for me. Um, probably gonna sound selfish again, but anything that can make your life easier when you just had a baby, um, I'm totally for it. Um, I think disposable works for me. Um, I think a uh, cloth would have been a lot more hassle for me, and anything to make my life easier I'm totally for. Next is the cry it out method. Um, I don't I don't do the cry it out method. I never really thought about doing the cry it out method. When he goes down for his naps, um I can tell when he's tired he kinda rubs his eyes and he kinda gets a bit um cranky or whatever. So um yeah, I normally soothe him to sleep by rocking him, and it seems to work for me. I rock him for at least five minutes, and um, he's pretty much out then, and he goes down for his nap. So I'm not sure later on, when he gets that bit older, if I am going to do the cried out method. I know I can't rock him sleep forever because he just wants to do it like when he's a lot older and. And it just won't work then but for now I think it works for us he's only 15 weeks so it could change later on um, so yeah so that's it for my controversial parenting tag um, I was going to say one more time I do not judge anybody who is against or for any of the topics that I just talked about and um, totally your own decision uh, you parent the way is best for you so um, thanks very much for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video there will be plenty more to come um, yeah so I'll talk to you later bye <laughs> you know.
<laughs> it's just a matter of fact. Yes. You smell too. 